So we're going to write an equation for this function here. I'm going to write the generic parts of the equation or the rational function that we're going to need. So there's going to be a numerator and denominator. Now the numerator is going to contain all the x-intercepts. And we're going to have to pay attention to crossing and bouncing. Good news is there's only one and it crosses. We have vertical asymptotes on the bottom. And there's also going to be a factor A at the beginning. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. Our x-intercept, we'll start with that. It's the first thing I wrote. x-intercept, if I write it as a point, it's 2, 0. Now, this is going to correspond to the factor x minus 2. And that's the only x-intercept, so we're going to go ahead and drop it right in there for x-intercepts. And then we'll fill in the rest as we go. You don't need to put parentheses around it because there's only one factor, but if there was two or three x-intercepts, you would have to put parentheses for their product. All right, vertical asymptotes. We got two of those. I'll go to red here. We got x equals negative three, x equals four, and we'll write them here. Vertical asymptotes. So we got x equals negative three. Now, we also had to pay attention to crossing and bouncing. This one goes down on one side, up on the other, so that's what we call a cross. And cross means this is odd, which is a first power. And we do need to turn this into a factor. And if I write it in two steps, it's going to be x minus the number, or x minus the negative 3 which of course is x plus 3. And next up is our x equals 4 vertical asymptote. And that's going to correspond, this one is, well, I'll write down the correspondence first. So it's going to be x minus that number 4. Also, they both go down, so I think of this as bouncing off the ground and going back up. This is what we call a bounce which means even. And you're always gonna pick the lowest even number. Of course, if you pick zero, zero is even, but if you put a zero power, it's like it doesn't exist. So the lowest even number that's not zero is two. All right, so we're almost there. The last thing we're gonna focus on is the number at the front. Now, sometimes they give you a little bit more of a hint, but this one they don't. In turn, well, when I said hint, I mean in the actual, uh, language of the question. This one didn't give me a hint. So there's a few ways to do it. Uh, one of the ways would be to look at the end behavior. However, this end behavior looks like it's approaching y equals zero. And this one's probably also approaching y equals zero, but we can't really see that from the graph. So what we're gonna do is pick one point that we can tell the value. One point that's not an x-intercept, such that we know the x and the y value. So let's think about some of the points on this graph. I could try to use x value of three and maybe the y value is negative four-ish, but that's, ish is not close enough. Again, I can't really do much over here. We're kind of close to negative two, three, but again, maybe not exact. There is one point that I am for sure about right there. A lot of times that y intercept is gonna be the point you use. So let's write down this y intercept. So the y-intercept, x-coordinate 0, y-coordinate 1. So I'm going to leave this as just a number a. And what we're going to do next is use the y-intercept by plugging it in. So we're going to plug in the y-intercept, take 0 and f it. Now be careful, the whole numerator doesn't turn to zero. X turns to zero, you still have that minus two. Denominator, we have zero plus three, which is just three. X minus four, zero minus four is minus four. You do still need a square. And now we just keep going here. I know the Y value right here is one. So if I just write that out, that means F of zero is one. So I'm gonna replace F of zero with one. 
So we got negative two, negative four squared is 16. So we got a three. Now we just reduce the fraction. Let me push this down more. That'll be the next thing we do. So I can cancel the two and the 16. So it'll turn into a negative one and an eight times three. Three times eight is 24. So we got negative 1 24th A equals 1. Multiply both sides by negative 24. And we got negative 24 equals A. And all we have to do is plug in that negative 24 into the A value right there. And that will be our final answer.